Despite new tax problems, the Bossa Sports Direct remained upbeat tonight. Mr Ashley, are you worried about the tax bill? No. No? No, not Confident worried. it'll all be fine? Hopefully, yes. Yes, confident as I can be. Thanks very Any much. Any idea when we'll know when, the house of, when more House of Fraser stores will close? Uh, no, it'll be a very slow process. So okay. Should staff be concerned at the moment? No, I hope not. Yeah, we'll try and keep as many as we can. Okay, I've okay. got to go, guys. Thank you. See ya. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. See ya. Sports Direct's annual financial results have been delayed, but when they came, they brought new insights into this business, which for almost a year now has included House of Fraser. One of the firm's financial chiefs had only very cautious optimism for staff. How worried should House of Fraser's staff be tonight, given that Sports Direct is now expressing new regret that they ever bought the department store? I mean, we're doing our best to save jobs, to save stores, to keep the business uh, going, and, and we're very confident that in the long term we will do. But are you confirming that there will be more store closures? I think... Um, the reality is some will close. Some of these stores are on zero rent, some are on zero service charge, and they're still not making any money. You, you, you know, it's, you can't, they're just not viable. Tonight's Sports Direct financial figures show annual profits fell 6% to above £287 million, while sales for the year to April rose by 10% to £3.7 billion, and the Belgian authorities are now demanding £605 million in unpaid taxes. Sports Direct told me it will contest that tax demand as unwarranted, but some fear that by buying outlets such as Game and House of Fraser, this business has grown beyond its capacity to effectively manage. What does this sudden, unexpected, unpaid tax bill tell us about how Sports Direct is being managed? The unexpected tax bill, I think, says a lot about the corporate governance of the company. This is something that Sports Direct has had a lot of issues with, um, and I think it just highlights, really, um, poor corporate governance that they didn't realise the scale of, of this tax bill. I mean, why, why didn't they know that was coming? As other businesses flee the UK high street, the Sports Direct Group is buying more. Tonight's financial results will be viewed as a far wider barometer of Britain's retail sector. Chris Choi, News at 10.